Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is particularly the basics of Abacus. That means if you are a person who is willing to learn the Abacus, this video is a must. This tells you about the parts of the tool, about the tool, how to work with the tool, what are the values of the beads and everything that you need to know before you start learning Abacus. So without wasting much of a time, let's get started. So initially, if somebody asks you, what is the tool that you know to work with? You should know the name of the tool. The name of the tool is Sorbin. It is S-O-R-O-B-A-N. Sorbin. Sorbin is the name of the this abacus tool. So this particular abacus, it works on base 10. It works on base 10. That means we have one upper bead and four lower beads. And this is a Japanese make. This abacus is from Japan. Let's see the parts of the tool. This is called as the outer frame of the abacus tool. It is called as the outer frame of the abacus tool. The center black bar which is dividing the upper and the lower beads it is called as the middle bar middle bar is also called as equal to sign so just like we write 2 plus 2 equal to 4 that equals is the middle bar these are called as the upper beads upper beads are also called as heaven beads they are also called as heaven beads these are called as the lower beads and the lower beads they are also called as earth beads earth beads the center white dot that you can see it is called as the house pointer house pointer is also the ones rod it is ones rod in the backus tool so any calculation you have to start from here that is the intention of this dot this is the house pointer dot and the other white dots that you can see they are called as pointers they are called as pointers alone few of the abacus tool they will have their the pointers located in different places like they'll start from here they will leave three rods and they will put it here then they will leave three dots and then they'll put it here so it depends on the institute few of them they will start the calculation from here but few of them will start the calculation from here and now i am telling you we that we are starting the calculation from the house pointer once rod so this is once rod so towards the left side it is tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh crore ten crore it depends on how many rod backers you have now this is a 17 rod abacus. How is it a 17 rod abacus? See, if you count these rods, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's a 17 rod abacus tool. You may have a 13 rod abacus, 15 rod abacus, 7 rod abacus, 21 rod abacus also. The Standard size that you can buy being a student is a 17 rod abacus tool. This is the best buy. And you get multicolored beads. You get something plain like this, the orange color, yellow color, blue color. So it is up to you. You can buy any type of abacus tool. It's not mandatory that you have to choose a specific color or you need not have to buy the multicolor. It is up to you to choose any type of abacus you like to work on. Now let's understand the value of the upper beads or the heaven beads. These beads value is 5. It is 5 each. So this is 5, 5, 5, 5. Everything is 5. So whatever you see upper the up in, the, in this part, they are all upper beads and they are all, the value of all the beads are 5 each. And here you can see the lower beads. Lower beads are like, four in number in one rod in one particular rod there are four beads the value of that bead is one each one two three four so in one rod there are four lower beads and one upper bead now let's see 
how do we do the finger setting using the abacus tool you should always use these two fingers that is the thumb and the index finger to move the beads to move the lower beads or the earth beads you are going to use the thumb you have to move it like this and to move the lower beads down you use the index finger to move it down to move the upper bead up and down you use the index finger this is how we use to this is how we do the finger setting in the abacus tool so these two fingers are the ones that we are going to use what about our left hand or what if the child or whoever is learning is a left hand what do we do with the right hand so left hand is used to hold the tool like this in such a way that the middle finger and the index finger is open so when you come across two digits three digits this fingers are used to move the beads and this is to grip your abacus tool if you are a left hander then your right hand is going to support it and you're going to do everything with your left hand but here right hand is is not going to do any job because here whatever you can see this part is for decimal place so right hand is going to just hold the tool and everything will be done on the with the left hand whenever you start learning abacus or make somebody learn the abacus it is very important to know the pencil holding position so if you are a right hander hold the pencil like this okay just close it and flip it these two fingers to be open these three fingers are supporting the pencil so your working fingers are these two so your pencil will be in your hand and to write you are going to just do this and write and this is what you have to practice holding position and writing position holding position writing position you have to practice this well if you are a left hander then your pencil holding position should be like this so this is the holding position with two fingers open and this is the writing position holding position writing position okay this is how you going to work now let's start representing numbers i'm going to represent numbers from 1 to 9 use your thumb to move the lower beads up that is 1 Two, three, four. Now move the lower beads down. One, two, three, four. Now to represent five, use your index finger. Five and six will be done like this. Five plus one is six. Five plus one plus one is seven. Five plus one plus one is eight. Five plus one plus one plus one plus one is nine. so i used two fingers to do this this is called as pinch in this is called as pinch in now i'm going to remove six beads remove six beads i did this this is pinch out this is pinch out and this movement together it is called as butterfly movement this is called as butterfly movement the maximum number that we can do in one rod in one rod in each rod is 9 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 is the maximum number that we can do in one rod and always before you start calculating anything in the back stool you should always do this you have to hold your fingers like this and you have to do this and this is called as clearing the abacus tool clearing the abacus tool will set your abacus tool to zero this is zero when the upper beads are up and when the lower beads are down the value of the abacus tool is zero i told you that this is the middle bar whenever the beads are going to touch the middle bar there is some value in the tool so 
always ensure before you start any calculation you have to set the abacus to zero that means you have to clear your abacus tool when you clear your abacus tool the value of the abacus tool becomes zero and then you have to start doing the numbers i hope this video was helpful for more such videos please subscribe to my channel your subscription is my only motivation to upload more such videos see you all in the next video thank you